Hi guys, Innovator Packadrum here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. Now, I've been, as usual, busy <laughs> off camera with this place. I don't know why I chose this area to do next. I honestly was just flying around trying to choose where to where to build, and I thought, you know what, I want to. I want to start there. I'm going to leave this area open for now. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Eventually I want to do something here with the water. Maybe... Oh, my version of the... The Cretaceous Cruise or whatever <laughs> it was called in Jurassic World. Speaking of... <laughs> Jurassic World. Did you guys see season three of Camp Cretaceous? Let me grab some water because I'm very thirsty right now. There we go. <laughs> that was a roller coaster <laughs> of a of a sit season. I loved it. I'm pretty sure everyone <laughs> loved it. Well, except the. Uh, well, I think Evolution Square liked it. I just don't think they liked most of the story. <laughs> Which is understandable to to each their own. I enjoyed it. I, I freaking loved that season. I loved Scorpius Rex. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I should explain what's going to go in here. Um, Herrerasaurs. I decided I haven't done a carnivore in, in a while. So I thought, oh wait, I did Guanlong last episode. Well, time to do more carnivores. <laughs> and I also got their growth serum here. I hope they don't attack me. Okay, they sit. <laughs> I think we gave them the... Herrera sounds from Jurassic World Evolution. Five. 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 Five? Let's see. One of them is male. And it's that one. Hmm. I think five Herreras would be enough for this enclosure. Okay, they stopped growing. I'm just going to keep right clicking them so I did most of, I did a lot of this off camera just because I was too lazy to start a recording <laughs> because I don't know I was way too tired to keep a uh, focused mind on a conversation or trying to keep you guys in entertained while talking there we go, I think full grown now. And there's five of them, and they're much easier to track than Guanlong, so hopefully we don't lose any more. Alright, and we're gonna finish. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna put these on each pillar. Alright, so. Spoiler warning. 
by the way, because we're I'm gonna be oops, I'm gonna be talking a lot about season three. So if you haven't watched it yet, uh, don't watch this video. <laughs> but man, season three, I freaking loved it. Like. E750 was cool. Do I have any dirt? I do. Alright, they're staying mostly over there, which is okay. I, I like D750. A lot of people didn't because of the fact that it looked hideous. But I think it's... Um, It's design works. Like a lot of people do agree with, okay, so at least one person on <laughs> has this opinion, at, at least that I know of on uh, Instagram, the dino draws. I think that's what they're called on Instagram. That they liked E750's design because it fit with the with the whole story or like the timeline of Jurassic World because E750 was made before the Indominus. I don't know if a lot of people knew that. <laughs> I know the Game of Beaver probably didn't know that because in his video he was talking, he said the E750 was after the Indominus, but it wasn't. Because when the episode where Brooklyn and Sammy find uh, Wu's laptop, he says, I've created the world's first dinosaur hybrid. And he's not talking about the Indominus, he was talking about Scorpius Rex, or E750. And that's why I like, uh, a lot of people don't like the design because of how ugly it is. But even in the show, they, they, they acknowledge the fact that it is hideous. You know? And it makes sense because it was Wu's first hybrid. He was experimenting to see if it could work. You know? The Indominus was a, a success. And that's why the Indominus and Indoraptor looked a lot better, design-wise. So that's where a lot of people's <laughs> opinions are. You guys can let me know if you guys like the 750s design or if it was way too ugly. <laughs> and I know a lot of people are making the connection that it looks a lot like um, the early drafts or concept art of human dinosaur hybrids for Jurassic Park 4 before it was Jurassic World. Or gonna be named Jurassic World. I was like, as soon as I was watching, I was like, why does it look like one of the concepts? And then everyone else was like, like oh, it was inspired. <laughs> Totally inspired. A total reference. Oh, and the references were spot on. I loved how... Oh man, like I loved the whole kitchen scene. With the... I'm gonna put it in here. This thing. There we go. Yeah, I love the whole kitchen scene reference. Are y'all good? One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, I thought I lost. Are y'all okay? Let me get me lassos. Oops. One, two, three, four. 
I don't know if they know how to get out or if they're just stuck on something. I think they were actually just stuck. Whoops. Oh man, I think I kind of just missed an opportunity to do a roller coaster themed <laughs> enclosure for the Herrera Source. <laughs> oh well, maybe in an another episode, <laughs> another series. <gasps> Dang, my dog. I like that. All right. Now we should start decorating. Put some stuff in my thing. Let's go to the storage room. Okay. Also, I'm working on a new Minecraft movie. I'm not gonna say what it is, but one is in the works. I will say it is not another uh, Jurassic Park and Minecraft movie though. <laughs> So I'm not doing like a Jurassic Park version or a Lost World version in Minecraft, at least not yet. What am I going to do? Plants. Um, I think some oak trees <coughs> would work. This one, bamboo. I think I should buy some bamboo. Maybe that'll look nice in their enclosure. I can't go wrong with the quiches. Should I get those? No. Grab more quiches. Nails. No, I think with that I'm good. Oh. Sugar cane. Do I need sugar cane? Just not blue. Hmm. Pine saplings, more bamboo. Hmm. Oh well. Section B. And for the longest time, I kept staring at this area and was wondering, what should I put here? Stegosaurs? No, I, I was like, no, I don't think it's big enough for stegosaurs. Maybe for the fossils ones. But I didn't want to put them in here. I want to do something else for the stegos. Oh no, did you remember bone meal? Oh, I have bone meal. It's fine. And I got more here. We're all good. Alright. <laughs> I kind of wish they chose different sounds because it sounds like they're getting hurt. Ooh, one of the big ones. I like those. Oh. Good thing I found that. I don't want a her her sorry falling in there. Everything good? All right. Also, the way that E750 was shown in the show was, like, hectic. Its roar was scary. 
the way it murdered everything was scary. Like, that poor Ceratosaur in the first episode. <laughs> he did not see that coming. And every other, like, herbivore that was running away from it, and it just, it just kept catching up to them. I did also find it weird how it made a second E750. I kind of... Alright, here's like one continuity error I think I found. So... Wu said the dinosaurs once hatched take about how many weeks? Like 10, 18 weeks or whatever to be fully grown or whatever. And they said that the kids have been on the island for six months, right? And Bumpy was hatched right around the time that they first lent, uh, got to Jurassic World. <laughs> so why is Bumpy still small? And how did the A750 grow full size before Bumpy? That's my question. See, that sound always gets me. <laughs> Why is this floating? There we go. I know acacia trees don't fit in this setting, but they kind of do work still. Design-wise, I like them. I'm like scared trying to make sure like none of them are dying or getting hurt. to be okay. I wonder what happens because I have dino metabolism turned off but I'm pretty sure they will hunt animals. Sorry sheep. You're going to be released here. <laughs> Oop. Oh, 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 oh. I guess the sheep is safe for now. I guess since dino metabolism is off. They are tamed to me. What if I did following? Then will it attack the sheep? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Alright, it's wandering now. Well, now there's just a sheep in Herrerasaur Haven. Ooh, I need to get one of those. 
Uh, paddock signs. Okay, we're gonna go back to to to, to storage room. How do you make them? Three signs. Signs. One. Grab that. Do I have any in here? No. Some nougats. There we go. Also, um, what else? I think I left the deco bench here still. Yep. Just gonna be looking, trying to see what I could add in there. Our bathroom, bedroom, miscellaneous. Maybe a bone. <laughs> Would they like a bone? Um, bus stop, fire hydrant, newspaper dispenser, toolbox. You know what, I'm gonna do a soda machine, put it there. Cause why not? <laughs> Burial urn, urn, we. Food, no. Actually, that does remind me, I should do some sort of restaurant or building over there. Section B doesn't have a restaurant. Yet. Maybe I should try a live stream then. Sunwall? No. Wait, this is the lighting? Oh. That's cool. Fishbowl. Wood mantle. No. 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 Signs. All right. Well, I think I got everything. Section B. Maybe here. There we go. What? I don't want it there. That's annoying. I can make a fence. I don't have wood. Crafting is on point today. Her river sore. And then I'll put some bushes, slash grass and flowers. Open up 
meant to be this close, but people feel like, screw the bushes. Actually, I think I'll do like a downstairs and put glass here. That way you could have a little look from down here. Yeah, this looks this looks cool. That'll be a cool area to do it. What should we call this? A river store haven? A river source. Hello. <laughs> Also, all right. Another, I have a like a little prediction. I think there isn't going to be any more Camp Cretaceous because it did end with a cliffhanger, somewhat. And the way the ended things wasn't doesn't seem like a way to end a show. I think. Like, I don't think they're going to do a Camp Cretaceous Season 4. Well, I guess they could. But at this point, they're no longer at, in Camp Cretaceous. They're off the island. So I'm thinking they're going to start a new show and call it something else. Or maybe they're going to do a... Netflix Camp Cretaceous movie. Who knows? No. Well, like, they could still call it Camp Cretaceous. But I don't know if it'll work anymore, because they're not in Camp Cretaceous. Since they're off the island. So I don't know. I'm gonna look at this and think, what else can I do? Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're so noisy. They need they need a an inhaler. Because they sound like they have asthma. Hmm. I can't think of any right now of, of what to do here. Oh the bones. How big are the bones? Oh, they're tiny. Okay, I'm gonna put those back in the deco bench. Also, no one's drowned or died yet, so that's good. Hello, Hereversaur. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> oh, the soda machine. I think I'll just put it there. Sorry, I just got a weird text message. I don't even know where it's from. Or who it's from. Hmm. I'll change that later. I just like looking at them. <laughs> Alright, I think that'll be it for this episode, guys. I know, kind of a weird one, but it was what I was able to <laughs> record. <laughs> but anyways, so I hope you liked the video. I hope um, you liked the little talk.
talk of Camp Cretaceous Season 3. Let me know what you guys thought about it, because I, I love the show. I absolutely love Season 3. I loved E750. I loved how edgy and dark it was. I liked how they tied it all together with Fallen Kingdom, or at least the beginning of Fallen Kingdom. Ooh, that would be cool if the kids still manage to get <laughs> don't manage to get back to the mainland or Costa Rica. Like they manage to get stuck in Isla Sorna or something, and then we'll finally get to see that Spinosaur. <laughs> Maybe. Um and it takes them years. Cause let's see, they already been there six months. Could they be stuck for another three years, maybe? On Isla Sorna. That would make a little more sense, cause if there's cause the creature that's supposedly in their in their boat causes problems, they could get lost on Isla Sorna for three years, and when they finally get off and get on the mainland, they're like, finally, no more dinosaurs, and then all the dinosaurs get <laughs> get released. Uh, in the mainland, and they're, and they're like, what the heck? <laughs> that would be funny. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the show. Let me know what you guys think of this enclosure. What you guys want to see next, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.